did start off the morning with some showers across the Susquehanna Valley. Lots of clouds too. Some spots are starting to see the clouds breaking just a bit. But as we look live from our Harrisburg Skycam, it uh, is pretty overcast here in the capital city looking over the Susquehanna River to the west. 71 degrees, the latest check on the temperature. Dew points into the mid 60s and those have actually come up. Uh, the dew point numbers uh, just in the last couple of hours and that's in response to a warm front which is beginning to lift back from the southwest to the northeast. But it is running into this easterly stable flow of air off of the Atlantic Ocean and it's the combination of these two uh, masses of air that's also firing some showers and a little bit in the way of some downpours just off to our west. It was the same thing that fired those showers and storms in the western half of PA yesterday and again today it'll likely fire them and they will move to the east heading into the Susquehanna Valley. Uh, it looks like as we go into the later parts of this afternoon and this evening, but right now not much going on here. Northern Berks County, a couple of showers and we are starting to see those showers there firing up a few downpours there. Uh, John, uh, Johnstown through Altoona temperature wise mid 60s. That's the cool number in Lebanon. Everybody else is in the low 70s at this hour. It's almost near 80 degrees in Chambersburg and we will probably only top out near 80, although there will probably be folks that only top out in the upper 70s today. So mostly cloudy skies. A few showers could be a couple of rumbles of thunder and a few downpours into the later parts of the afternoon. Also more humid than what we saw certainly last night and into this morning. The humidity will be on the rise. Mostly cloudy tonight. Isolated showers uh, can't be ruled out, but as we lose the daytime heating, anything that fires up today will likely fall apart overnight tonight. Mild and muggy lows into the uh, upper 60s, rebounding again back to the 80s tomorrow, although some spots wide range of numbers. Again, it depends on if we can break the clouds or not. If we can, some areas could get up into the upper 80s, if not near the low 80s, and a few showers and thunderstorms can't be ruled out, but these should be on the isolated side of things with some peaks of sunshine here and there as we head into the afternoon. Right now, the dew points, yeah, like I said, they've been on the rise. This morning, we started off in the 50s in some spots with the dew points, but now they're back up into the 60s. These bluer colors have been working their way back to the north and east and uh, back farther to our southwest, West Virginia into Virginia. There could be some heavy rain forming there with uh, tapping into that high moisture value. So predictor does show a few of those showers and storms blossoming up into the afternoon and evening hours. We lose the daytime heating though this evening and into tonight and a lot of this just falls apart and almost completely goes away. Tomorrow morning starting off with some clouds, then we break the clouds, some partly sunny skies expected into the afternoon and pretty isolated chances of showers and storms. Father's Day waking up to, you guessed it, more clouds. And then I think again, we break the clouds back into some sunshine in the afternoon. It will be warm and quite muggy too. Some showers and storms possible, but it looks like mainly the focus is later in the day. Predictor does show our dew points uh, climbing into this, maybe the low 70s this afternoon. And then uh, we'll see another surge in the dew points into tomorrow near 70. So pretty sticky, humid air. And it gets even worse into Sunday. It could be mid 70s for those dew points. That is just downright tropical feeling. And we combine that with temps near 90, it will feel oppressive on on Father's Day itself before going back down to the muggy range on Monday. So next couple of days showing the shower and thunderstorm chances, uh, but the highest chance it looks like late Sunday, more likely into Monday with that front crossing through. That'll dry us out and cool us off into the middle of the week. First day of summer there on Wednesday with more shower chances. So the bottom line is it's not a complete washout for the entire Father's Day weekend. There will be shower and storm chances. I think Father's Day itself hot and steamy. It won't be uncomfortable for you. It'll be his first Father's Day. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, you should be. All right, thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm. Now to steal.